So today we are in my kitchen where we keep it simple but also smart in how we operate in our kitchens. And today I'll be speaking to us about traditional clay pots, aka nyungus. <laughs> yes, yeah, so a few years ago I got introduced into cooking with traditional clay pots and let me tell you, I have not gone back to using the other kind of pots. So I want to share with you some of the benefits that I have done some research uh, on and also those that I enjoy and something that you can consider for your kitchen. You know, they say every once in a while, just change the way you do things. So decide if this is something you'd want to try. Now, we have all kinds of pots uh, that maybe you know about. With this one, this is the most common that you will find in most homes. Uh, it's just a black pot or a kikuyu pot. <laughs> kikuyu is a tribe in Kenya where they are used a lot. And most of us grew, uh, seen our grandmothers using these kind of pots to boil cereals, to boil gezeri, to boil domas, arrowroots, sweet potatoes, even meat. We have, many of us have grown up uh, seeing this pot. And this same pot that you're seeing here, uh, is the same one that you can see here, which I use for my drinking water, and I'll be speaking about that later on. We also have this kind of design. There are all kinds of designs in the market. This is also another design that comes with handles, and it also has a lid, which is a good thing. And we have this small one, which is 1 kg. And I also have a bigger version of it, which is 2 kgs. And the reason I like this kind of a design is because you can use this on your gas stop. You know, like what I have here, you can use that uh, on your gas cooker or electric cooker. This, mainly we use it on the firewood or even on our, when we are using charcoal, then this is the most common. Though you can also use this on your gas stove. So, uh, we also have this design. It's uh, same as this other, just the color. Uh, they put more of the red color, but it's the same and the mouth is just a bit wider. So, and I have another small one here. <laughs> yes. So, one of the good things um, that I did some rich search and I discovered about clay pots is that the fact that they are made from clay, very Peri, this is peri, clay. <laughs> then it means, uh, and by the way, if you notice, they are not glazed. If you have noticed that, you know those pots sometimes which you say very smooth and looking very beautiful? Now, I don't like that because in making it that smooth, then there are some chemicals which have been introduced. And you know what happens. That chemical will eventually get to the food. So I go for plain traditional clay. So one of the good benefits about this clay is because clay is, is alkaline. Clay is alkaline and most of the foods that we eat are acidic. Most of the food, I was just learning the other day, tomatoes are very acidic, by the way. If maybe you have issues of acidity, try and cut out uh, on, on tomatoes. I learned that the other day. So most of the food that we cook is acidic and, and medics will tell us that Acidity is our greatest enemy. It's the greatest enemy of our bodies. It leads to all kinds of um, diseases and even eventually can lead to inflammation. And we know what inflammation does to the body. So, this being alkaline and the food being acidic, it means now when you cook your food, which is acidic with these pots, which are alkaline, what to our chemistry, you can tell us what happens you know, that it is able to, to neutralize that acidity in the food and what you end up eating then is food that has just the correct pH, <laughs> all right? So acidity now becomes, it will, will no longer be an issue for you. So that is the fact about the clay pots. And that's why also we use them for our drinking water. I'd say this is my drinking water pot. And so the same thing, when you put your water here, uh, then the water becomes alkaline. I think there has been a lot of information uh, going around on the benefits of drinking alkaline water and it is possible to buy alkaline, alkaline water 
very expensive you can also buy a system that you can install in your kitchen taps that neutralize alkaline the water very expensive so for less than a thousand shillings you can get a pot like this put your water let it sit there for a few hours it is good maybe better than that one in the shop <laughs> all right and the water also is very cool uh you know it's not like drinking water straight from the tap very refreshing so ensure you have one and what i normally do if you can see uh with my pot you can see the pink uh oh. so i put this uh sort of a basin so that the pot first of all it stabilizes the pot because you know how the pot is so it's able to stabilize the pot but also because clay is porous so it means as you put your water in the pot as it sits there there's still a bit of some water that seeps out clay is porous so then this basin is able to collect that water so get one for your for your for your drinking water so back to the pots second thing i came to discover about clay is that there are so many nutrients so many nutrients which are found in soil in clay that was a shocker for me <laughs> so many from calcium phosphorus magnesium somebody even said b12 is found in soil in fact they will always tell us once in a while remove your shoes and walk barefoot walk barefoot uh, out there in the soil there's some sort of therapy that happens uh, when you do that so the same thing these clay pots then have all these kind of nutrients so as you cook your food in them what happens it means the food that you end up cooking also attain some of those calcium magnesium phosphorus very nutritious for your food uh, another thing that i love about this is because this is clay when you put this on your gas cooker it takes some time the clay takes some time to heat up you know, it's not like the way we use uh, the normal aluminium. So for years, you put them on the gas, put your oil, and it's, you know, it heats up so fast. You put your kitungu, sha, and everything, you know, almost burning the house. And many times we have burnt our food. I'm a victim of that. But rarely, rarely can you burn your food with this pot. Because once, once, first of all, it's taking so long to heat up. But the good thing is once it heats up, once it heats up, then it's able to retain that heat. You actually can serve your food from these pots because I do that with mine. I do that with mine. You just as it is, as it is, with a pot stand. <laughs> this is a pot stand, and you're able to put it on the table. Actually, it looks very presentable. So as you put that, uh, it will keep food hot. You do the first serving, second serving, third serving. This is a natural oven. The food is hot. In fact, even when you are serving from the gas to your dining table, you know, the food goes sizzling <laughs> like that food. You know, like the way we go to the Chinese hotels and you brought that sizzling chicken or sizzling, it comes shh. shh. <laughs> Same thing with this. But the good thing is then the food keeps hot for a long, long time. If there is something I hate with a passion, it's cold food. Give me hot food. This will do the trick for you. And I'll be sharing a picture with you of uh, if you feel like this is not presentable for me, I think it is. But if you think it's not presentable to present on the table for your guests, I'll show you a trick. I'll show you something that you can do. So, um... So it takes a long time uh, to heat up so you don't burn your food and at the same time uh, it will keep the food very hot. There is also finally there is something, there is something, there is just something about cooking your meat stews, fish, chicken. I think because of that cooking slowly and this is clay that has all these nutrients, there is just a flavor. I can't explain, but there is a flavor your food gets, your meat. I can tell meat that is cooked from a pot and meat that is cooked with other kind of pots. There is just an aroma. There is just a flavor. I think it's the theory. I don't know. There is something. The food just tastes so good. Yeah? And, uh, you know, the heat, it's able to spread 
as the food is cooking, the heat is evenly spread, the, the food retains all the, the nutrients and all the flavors because they are not interacting with metals and aluminiums. Eh? So it retains the food, your food retains all its natural flavors. All right, I think you just have to try. I think you just have to try for yourself and you tell me. You tell me what, try cooking with this and try with another pot and do the test yourself. So, you can have as many pots as you want. One for your meat, uh, another for your traditional vegetables, uh, another for your cereals. The only thing I have not tried to cook with these pots is uh, ugali, uh, tea. I have not boiled milk <laughs> with them. I have not tried. But anything else, you can use this to cook. Uh, somebody told me they had used, they had cooked rice. That I'm yet to try. But have one specifically for your fish. Designate one. Kama ni kuandika, if you need to write it there, fish. Have one only for fish. Why? Same thing I said. It retains the flavors. So when you cook fish, then the pot retains the, the smell of fish. So you can imagine you're cooking fish today with this pot. Then tomorrow you cook chicken. So there is the smell of fish in chicken. Confusion gallery. No. So have one for your fish. Um, finally, these are the good spoons to use both for cooking or if it's serving, use this. Or you can use this plastic kind of spoons for serving. Don't use these ones. Please don't use the metal spoons. Don't use on clay pots. Just go for this. All right? Yeah. And finally, I also showed you the, the stand. Uh, of course, which just helps to balance, to balance the pot when you place it there. So, if you are interested, uh, get in touch with us. Uh, you might be wondering, so where do I, Pastor Joyce, where do I get a pot? Where do I get a pot? And, and possibly you can get this, but you're wondering, where do I get that beautiful one? Please get in touch with us. Our numbers are just scrolling there. This is someone's pot that we are sending out. So we do that. You can always get in touch with us. So, thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you have learned something and I hope that this new year you will decide to try something new in your kitchen. And make sure to visit us again on our YouTube channel. We'll be posting a lot of contents for you of things, tips, hacks, tricks, and many things that you can do just to make your experience in the kitchen an enjoyable one. Thank you so much and God bless you. Bye-bye.